Welcome to day two of Homecoming 2023. I'm Summer Owens. And I'm Cameron Williams. We had a great first day yesterday and hoping things get even better today. And what a way to kick things off than with the annual Powerpuff game. It took place last night in the turf room and as expected, it was an intense event. Everyone thinks the seniors are always gonna win easily, but as the class of 2025 showed, nothing is easy. That's right, the juniors had an early lead and I thought they were gonna pull it off, but in the end, the seniors took the Powderpuff game with a score of 46 to 32. What a game! We'll have highlights in the sports section of our show, so stay tuned for that. Now the question is, can the seniors make it a two-win homecoming with a victory tonight over the teachers? This game might be a little tougher if you ask me. 7 p.m. is the start time for the big game. We'll analyze the game and the rosters a little later in the show and see which team has more firepower to win this game. But in the meantime, make sure you're getting your tickets at GoFan. Yesterday was also teacher-student swap day. We didn't get many visitors to the studio to get pictures taken, but we did get a few. Our winner for the day as Best Dressed Spirited Viking goes to Tessa O'Keefe. As the dressed up, it's Mr. Sifner for the day. You'll get to see all the pictures that were taken on our special edition homecoming show next week. So if you want to be on it and have a chance at winning prizes, make sure you come down to get your picture taken in between passing periods today. Bikers and surfers are all over the place today, so I can't wait to see who comes into the studio for a chance to win. Okay, we have powder puff highlights coming up in sports, plus a look at tonight's huge seniors versus faculty basketball game. We'll tell you how to attend and how you can get involved in the games tonight as well. Right now, let's get into the list of announcements we have. If you've got a radio slot for this year's WHFH 88.5 FM lineup, don't forget you have training today after school. Don't forget it is required for everyone in your group to attend. The VAST program is selling HF School Spirit bracelets this week during North Lunches Wednesday and Thursday. Prices range from $2 to $5. Get one before the big game. Due to the pep rally change, the first DECA meeting will be rescheduled for next Thursday, September 14th. Your voice deserves to be heard. Join the HF debate team and learn how to advocate for issues important to you. Our first meeting is tomorrow in room E5. Practice goes until 4 p.m. and bus passes will be provided. Email Coach Cole for details. Friends of Rachel Club meets once a week on Mondays at 101 North from 315 to 4. And yes, we have snacks every meeting. Join us for our next meeting on Monday, September 11th. Etta Art and Literary Magazine is looking for new club members this year to help us create another amazing issue of student writing and art. Come to our welcome meeting on Wednesday the 13th in A11 at 3.15 p.m. See Ms. Mustafa in A11 if you have any questions. Interested in becoming a teacher? Stop by Ms. Mrs. Stewart Williams Class 825 next week, Tuesday, September 12, 2023 for an informational meeting regarding educators rising. Attention artists of any kind. Visual Arts Club will be holding their first meeting of the year on September 13th at 315 in VA3. You do not have to be currently enrolled in an art class at HF to participate. All are welcome. Please see Ms. Hazel Wilk or Ms. Healy for further details. French Club, Cuisine and Conversation Club, and French National Honor Society will have its first meeting on Thursday, September 14th after school in room 225 North. Bus passes and sports passes will be available. The homecoming dance tickets are now available for purchase on GoFan. Please see the homecoming dance FAQ for all the event details. Ticket purchase deadline is 10 p.m. on Thursday, September 7th on GoFan. Make sure to get a homecoming football game ticket and come check out the Viking Carnival from 5.30 to 8.30 on September 8th. You can find us on the tarmac by the football field. We will be selling tacos, dipping dots, and have activities like dunk tanks, karaoke, and more. Again, you have to have a ticket for the HF game to enter. Etta Art and Literary Magazine is celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. Tell us how hip-hop has influenced or shaped you through an original poem, song, rap, story, essay, or visual art including original photography, graphic design, mixed media, painting, and sculpture. A cash prize will be awarded in each category. Deadline is September 29th. Go scan the QR code on the posters in A Building or see Ms. Mustafa in A11 for more information. Etta is also inviting students to submit a six-word story about their summer. Students who submit will be entered in a raffle. Deadline is September 29th. 
Go scan the QR code on posters in A building or see Ms. Mustafa in A11 for more information. And that concludes our list of announcements that were sent in. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the world of HF Sports with Timmy Van Etten. I'm Timmy Van Etten and I'm with all your sports announcements. We didn't get any scores in from the sports that played last night, but we do have a few sports announcements and then we'll get into the Powder Puff highlights. One big homecoming event remains tonight, and that's the seniors versus faculty in the game of basketball. Both teams have been preparing for a couple weeks now, and it all comes down to tonight. Game time starts at 7 p.m. in the South Gym, and the only way to see the action is to get your ticket at GoFan. $5 gets you into the game to watch the fun, plus have a chance to win some serious prizes and some cash too. Go to GoFan to get your tickets, and we'll see you tonight for all the fun. As we heard earlier on the show, the seniors class prevailed in the annual Powder Puff game last night. The final score was 44-32, and it was packed with all kinds of action. Let's get a look of the highlights from the game. As I said before, the seniors did prevail, getting lots of big plays out there with long runs and big tackles. That was a big run right there. And then we had big, big tackles too. The, the final score was 46-32. See, that was a big tackle right there for the seniors. There was many of those all day with the coaches celebrating with the, with the team. And then big runs for Mia like that, which got them the big win. They had two runs like that in a row that got them the win at the end when the juniors came back and were only down one touchdown, but that was to seal the win. The seniors never gave up and they knew what they needed to do and got the W. Congratulations to the seniors and good effort to your juniors. And of course, thank you to everyone, to everyone who came out to watch and support the girls in this fun event. That's all I have for In Sports. Until tomorrow, I'm Timmy Van Edden. This basketball game tonight is supposed to be a spectacle. The teachers are so confident they're going to win, and yet, so are the seniors. Let's take a look at the two squads real quick and compare the rosters. First for the seniors, here's who's playing for the class of 2024. Desaria Atkins. Nelson Speaks, he's a speedster. Justin Severson. DeAndre Lane. Savoy Howard. Also a speedster. Basirat. Kevin, Sodik, Kevin McGregor. Joshua Woods. Luke Romans. And Latavian Denson. That'll be the big guy for them. Emmanuel Ramirez. Tyon Julius. And coaches are Carson Brownfield. And Jacoby McNeil. That's a pretty good roster right there. Lots of height and quickness, and it should be hard for the faculty to guard them. Maybe or maybe not. Let's look at the faculty roster and see what they have. First is Mrs. Bullock. Mr. Thole. Coach Dismukes. Mr. Sumter. Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Olmstead. Mr. D. Benedetti. Just because you're a gym teacher doesn't mean you're good at sports. Ooh. Mr. King. Mr. Jackson. And Mr. Dawson. Mr. Dukes. Mr. Boyce. Mrs. Sopron. Mrs. Sopron, she thinks she's so good at sports, but let's be real, we all know she's not. Ooh and the head coach, Mr. Brazelton. Man, I don't know who to give the edge to. Both teams look pretty solid, so it may come down to the wire. Just make sure you're there to watch it all unfold. There will be a couple of chances for you to win some prizes at halftime too. We'll be calling people out of the stands to participate in some on-court activities to see if you can win some cash. So make sure you get there early as doors open at 6.15 p.m. Get a good seat, grab a raffle ticket, and enter the contest. And get ready for a great game. All you need to, if you still need ticks, go to GoFan to buy yours. Remember, the only way to get in tonight is through GoFan. So if you want to avoid standing in line and first buying your ticket, buy it now so you have the ticket ready when you walk in. All right, that does it for the show today. Thanks for watching and get ready for more homecoming fun today and tomorrow. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you right here tomorrow. I'm Cameron Williams. And I'm Summer Owens. For everyone here at VTV, have a great day.